What's good YouTube? We back at it again with another reaction video and in this segment we're going over Elden Ring. Yes sir, yes sir, and if you guys have ever played any Demon Souls, Dark Souls games, or even Bloodborne or Sekiro, you're definitely gonna love this one. Mm. This game is combining all the aspects of those games and putting it into one. It is a horror slash fantasy based game. If anything that I have said piques your interest, you're definitely gonna love this game pay preview. So, yeah. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this video. Our channel just hit a thousand subs. This is a big accomplishment for the console peasant studio, but the sky is the limit. We ain't done yet, ladies and gentlemen. And without further ado, we're gonna jump right into the video. Let's do it, let's do it. I like the way your booty looks! Oh, look at that world. Elden Ring is set here, in the lands between. This is a site of grace, acting as a place of rest for the player. So like the bonfire. Go ahead. Occasionally, grace will manifest rays of guiding light. Of course, we're free to choose whether to follow this guidance, or head off to explore in a different direction. This kind of gives me a Ghost of Tsushima vibe too. In fact, you can ride a horse and this gives me a Witcher vibe. Yeah, it does. It does. Look at that world. Holy crap. Those graphics are amazing. Literally, I can see the individual grass blades moving in the wind. Oh, yo, is that a dragon coming? Yeah, out? for sure. And just like that, you're introduced to a boss. Or a field boss, I should say. He has his own soundtrack. Yeah. <laughs> this game is going to be spectacular. Oh, oh did you notice that? Yeah. It looks like blocking actually does something important in this game, unlike Dark Souls. Typical Souls fashion. I like it. Hello? Can you hear me? Help me. I'm stuck. Hello? I don't trust Please, it. <laughs> the man's trapped in My that? Stars. I'm so happy to see you. I am Alexander, also known as the Iron Fist. And as you can see, I'm stuck here. Please, can you help me out of this? Put those doubts to rest. I'll be just fine. I'm very well trained. Give it your all, I say. Maybe, maybe this is a stupid question, but why is he in there? Um, I don't think he's in there. I think he yeah, is but he's that. actually the he's yeah. pot man. Yeah, he's a pot man <laughs> ah. Well played good sir. Well played Though that mighty wallop of yours almost spelt the end of me <laughs> <laughs> ah. Such a light-hearted conversation honestly it just adds character to this game mm -hmm. Oh my god, look at that view is this an overview of the entire map? I mean, from a That's huge. Yeah, this game is... Look large. at the valley on the inside, too. Know, That's like a plethora of maps right there. The map can prove useful when exploring the world and is populated by acquiring map fragments. We can use markers to customize the map such as setting reminders for the location of crafting materials oh, or dangerous game. enemies. You can craft things in this game now too. It's it's absolutely that marker system is gonna be mad useful. Definitely. Oh, and you see Beacons this too. It's like early day to and night. Orientation. That's crazy. In the bottom right hand corner. Yeah, they have just a for you guys. Beacons placed on the map appear in the world. Nice. Oh, I'm looking forward to the mounted combat. That's gonna be a beast of its own. That leap of faith. 
Spirit springs can be used while on horseback to launch high into the air. This allows for stress-free traversal of areas with a great deal of verticality. I wonder if they allow teleportation in this um, this game. Oh, are you seeing that? That particle effect? Yeah, Woo! yeah. This game is definitely pretty, just to say the least. I wonder if you could do anything with those animals, like hunt and eat them. Maybe. Oh my god, this looks so fun, man. Yeah. It looks like we're looking at an enemy hideout. The carriage over there is carrying treasure. An opportunity too good to pass up. We'll prepare for combat with some item crafting, using materials found in the world. Sleep about arrow. This man gonna put them to sleep? There's oh, you can crouch? Yeah. It's kind of sick how you can craft in your inventory too. You don't have to go to a bench. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's That's down. Crazy. Yeah, and then you just perform a, a visceral attack of some sort. Yeah. Oh my God, yo, is oh my. Yeah, God. the stealth missions are gonna be on point in this game. This game is literally like freaking Sekiro. You got jumping attacks. You got the repulse just Enemy like Sekiro can does. Be broken with heavy strikes, such as when attacking from above. Like, what was that? A variety of unique attacks can also be interchanged between weapons. Between weapons? Oh my god, okay. The customization in this game. And was that just a hunter's dash? Yeah, it looked like it. Like, yo, this oh game seems to have a lot of um, elements to it. This oh is a very it's a very complicated game, but I'm liking the amount of work that they put towards it so far. In more perilous situations, we can summon spirits to assist us in battle. Spirits vary greatly in type. Oh, that's staff so we look forward oh, to players experimenting and finding their personal Oh favorite. my god, we have staffs! Oh my god, this game is gonna be so much fun. Oh my Yo, god. They're actually yeah. fighting like real martial artists now. This looks pretty. Not only is it pretty, they have improved the fighting mechanics, at least I could see from the dodge itself. There's a lot less ending legs, there's a lot more variation in combat. Oh and this god. game is gonna have PvP as well too. Is that a summonable ally? I mean, this looks like a regular ally. Online multiplayer can also like, be enjoyed go. with players from other worlds, from cooperative to PvP and invasions. That's proper. Look at this. Oh my god. Look at this world. Oh my, it's beautiful. Hey! That would have probably killed you in Dark Souls. <laughs> yeah, that probably would have. You would never be able to make such a jump Deadly in Dark Souls. creatures stalk this forest, so we'll use stealth to avoid detection. Oh, that creature looked familiar, though. It did. It did. It looked like it was from Dark Souls. This is insane. We've come across a boss guarding this area. Jeez. We'll take it on with the help of our co-op partner. Ooh, I like that move. Mm. Okay, it's clearly a sorcery build. Oh my god. Nah, it seems like he's rocking a herald build. It looks like it. But No! Bruh, are, yo! What? Oh my god. How is that going to be in PvP, bro? I don't know how that's going to be in PvP, but that was literally a move that a boss would use back in Dark Souls 3. I think yeah, it was Aldrich. Like Aldrich. Yeah, the yeah, Devourer yeah. of Gods, yeah. Was this guy just using... Did you just use a dragon? What was oh, that? Boy. They brought back this yo! attack, too. Wow. Oh my god. Okay. This game...
the fact that your player is just surviving these jumps too, I yeah, love definitely that, fall yo. damage is, uh, has been reduced, definitely. This appears to be one of the dungeons that they spoke about in this game. Mm. Catacombs, caves, mines, and other dungeons can be found while out exploring the world. <laughs> the These exact dungeons same each is. hold their own secrets, from hidden treasures to fierce bosses. <laughs> That's laugh. Invisible walls are here to stay, of course. The illusionary walls. Mm -hmm. My bad. And of course, we got the mimics too. I don't know if that's a mimic. Um, there's a chain on it. Okay. All right. All right. All right. Wow. I like how they kept a lot of the little things that were in uh, other Soulsborne's games into this. They kept their uh, From Software touch. Of course, you always got to keep that personality. Okay, let's see what we could do with the bonfires here. Greetings, traveler from beyond the fog. I am Melina. I offer you an accord. I'm assuming she's probably the person that you uh, used to upgrade the Stormvale Castle, a large-scale dungeon which connects seamlessly with the surrounding Limgrave region. This castle. This castle. Now I will say this. against taking the main gate into the castle it's tightly guarded by hardened old hands oh, tr tr try the opening right here the guards don't know about it you'll breach the castle undetected fair enough <coughs> must go through the gates I'll signal them to open but of course I'd advise against it wow I like how this game allows you to choose a stealthful path or a brute force yeah that's definitely giving me some breath of the wild vibes yeah open the gates. I think that came straight out of ghost of Tsushima to be honest <laughs> Man wanted to smoke. Uh, no, <laughs> no, at least, you, at least they allow you to backpedal. So we'll try entering through a back way. Wow. Are you kidding me? You can summon phantoms? That's a spell? Seems like blocking Ooh. is actually pretty effective. Ooh. He was staggered for that long? That shit went right through the man, though. Okay, so it looks like you can get NPCs the are these. able to use these um, special Ooh, type of that? items what as was well. That? Was that like some sort of like... It looked like a counter. Yeah, it looked like a counter attack, but he took an attack from it. I guess that was just poise. Yeah. It was most likely poise. Extra care should be taken when moving through dungeons, as visibility and terrain differ from when in the open. We hope players enjoy getting a feel for the different types of areas and coming up with suitable strategies for each. <laughs> <laughs> Typical they had to keep that in there. Typical, yo, love that. Typical souls born fashion. The jump scares are always real. 
And this is just absolutely a demented sight to see it. Oh my god. The jumping, the ability, like, the amount of adventuring and also just the way how you're going to have to rethink taking upon the landscape in this game. Yeah, it's adding three dimensions to it now. Yeah. Original Bloodborne Souls games didn't even have the ability to jump. They only introduced it in Sekiro. So it's interesting to see how it will take fold in this game. Dungeons are complex and multi-layered, meaning they can be tackled from a number of routes. Nice to meet you. The pleasure's mine. Roger is the name. A sorcerer, as uh, you might have guessed. I'm looking for a little something here in the castle. When I'm not hot-footing it from the troops, that is. <laughs> but enough about me. What are you doing here in Stormvale Castle? This place is bristling with tarnished hunters, you know. They sacrifice our kind for grafting. Grafting? Not exactly a place I'd yeah. stroll into without a purpose in mind. Oh, they still allowed you to parry in this game, though. I I'm glad that they didn't take that out. This game is just freaking pretty, bro. I wonder if they will allow you to parry with rapiers and katanas as well, or other short swords and daggers. We haven't seen that so far yet. Well, it's been introduced in uh, Dark Souls. Yeah, so probably we could say that that's going to be the case in this game, too. Mm -hmm. But the fact of customizable weapon arts, I'm sure you can do In this it. next boss fight, we challenge one of the demigods, ruler of Stormvale, Godric the Golden. Godric the Golden. All right, let's see what this guy's about. Hopefully we can get a first taste of the boss music. Let's hear how the orchestra... We've already seen two that. bosses so far. Yeah, the yeah, dragon yeah. and the, that other guy on the horse. Thou a true born heir. Lend me thy strength, O kindred. Is that a dragon? Does he have five well, fingers on the thumb? I didn't really catch that. This guy looked like he came straight out of Game of Thrones. I mean, it is written by George R.R. R. Martin. Oh. As a lord. What? Why do you look like that, bro? What have you experienced? Okay. Okay, Midas. Yo, this boss looks mad intimidating. Okay, you can imbue your weapon too. I think that's bleed. Yeah, they allow you to perform a counter attack after blocking. What's this? Oh, the phantoms. Okay. That's like Neo, bro. It's like they brought Neo into this game. You can summon phantoms? Yeah. Oh, that's... Oh, oh. You can charge that attack, too? That has great tracking as well. That'll be great for PvP. This man's using a disfigured dragon head as a... Ooh. That's just rude, bro. I mean, yo, if you That's just rude. Holy crap. This game is gonna be intense. This game is gonna bro. be crazy. Okay, we've seen a lot. That last dragon move, if you've ever played a dragon in any Soulsborne game, that is a signature move of a dragon. I'd love to see that they have retained all of the from software characteristics and they've never dropped off from any of it. Yeah, it kind of seems like they took all of the things from their greatest games, like Sekiro, Shadow, um, Ghost of Tsushima. Bloodborne and Wait, even Dark of, Souls. Is Ghost of Tsushima from software? 
I think it is. I don't think it is. I'm not too sure, but like... I don't think it is. I don't think it is. Hold on. We got to look that up a little bit later, but to be honest, it looks like they've merged elements from all of their most popular games, but either way, I'm looking forward to playing this game in the future, so I'll get you guys in the next one. We may be dropping a couple of more uh, reaction videos in the future. And we definitely will be playing this game once it does drop. I believe I'll just search... 100%. I'll I'll just search it up for you guys so I don't give you some bullshit. Hold on. Give me one minute. I'll... Elden Ring release. Spelled that a bit wrong. February the twenty fifth. I believe this was supposed to be released on January. I'm not too sure, but I believe they pushed we'll it. Hope, ahead. We'll hope for the best. To we'll be honest, because there's there's been some uh, some times in the past where they announced that they would release the the video game, but then they pushed the deadline a little bit further into the future. So we'll have to wait and cross our fingers. And when the game drops, you know that your boys, the console peasants, are going to be dropping some video game footage on that. So stay tuned. Stay tuned. And with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the content. Leave a like and a comment. Hit that notification icon with the bell on it so you don't miss any of our future videos. We're definitely going to be dropping some gameplay. As soon as this game comes out, hit us up on Twitch. Hit us up on Instagram. Hit us up on the Twitter. Get to know us a little bit. Join now the Twitter is... The Twitter got... Uh, uh, scratch that. Scratch, scratch that. The scratch that. But anyway, when this game does drop, we definitely will be hitting it up on YouTube and also on Twitch. So if you want to see that, let us know in the comment section below. But without being said... Hope you guys enjoy the content and I hope you guys also have a peaceful night, morning, evening, wherever you guys are located. Peace, peace, family. God,